At this demo, I want to show you how to use Win, uh, PCAP library in Microsoft Visual Studio. The objective of this presentation is to walk you through uh, the path and step by step uh, for the software development with Win PCAP and the Microsoft Visual Studio C++. And first, we're going to download and install the Win PCAP development pack, and then we're going to set the path for header which is pcap.edge and the library wpcap.dip and then build and test the program first you have to download pcap developers pack from the uh, link here and then uh, you're gonna download the uh, pcap 4.1.1 on latest, diver uh, la latest version I think that's fine and then they make sure like the developers pack then the uncompressed the toggle to the desired folder. Here, I'm gonna, here the, I'll show you. Uh, this is the website www.pcap.org. Okay. Then you're gonna download this pcap 4.1.1 developers pack. Okay. And we need to download the developer pack anyway. If you don't download the developer pack, it is not gonna work. And then save it to somewhere. You know, nobody put into the uh, drive C download, so you know you know all the package you have downloaded are there and make sure that you remember where you dump that's very important you know, when you store the, the, the files into the hard drive you have to make sure uh, where you know you, you store it and then you know where to get it back so let's start with Studio 2008 2010 I think it's very similar and first of all to, to, to build a program in Microsoft Visual Studio, you have to create a software project. So go new project. And then uh, we're gonna use the Win32 uh, console application. Okay, so let's use that. And then uh, click finish. Uh, then you'll show the console application here and then the make sure you click MD project, take the MD project, otherwise you could something, uh, it might be more complicated for you to fix it later. And then click finish. Then you have project created, it goes then PKT. Okay. And then under the project tab, the source file, you add, right click on it and add new items. Then we're gonna name this new item main.c. Okay, main.c here. Oh, sorry. And then yeah, make sure you set the C plus plus file the CPP. Okay. Uh, since the uh, Microsoft Visual Studio does not provide the PVC project, so we use the C plus plus file, but we use the extension the C. Okay. Make sure you do this. Then this program, you know, just something like this, very simple. I I modify this very simple test program from the tutorial by the WPCAP uh, developers. So first, uh, you know, uh, I have the main function in C, okay, and I include the ppack.h that is uh, supplied by the WPCAP library. Then the studio.h uh, standard ID, stdio, std standard io.h that provide all the print, print, in, uh, print f and then uh, later on the input uh, from Kangoo uh, library functions. And here I use the uh, PCAP look device uh, to uh, actually test if the system setting is correct and they ready for you to develop something complex. Then I want to set this project start up project since I have two several projects in this project. So I set this on as the startup project. Okay. Then this source is not going to work. The reason is that uh, we missing some library settings so let's go to the project right click on the project here and it says properties then under the C++, C++ the configuration properties C++, C++ then we need to add additional include uh, directory which is uh, the uh, the WP cap I installed it which is WP CK settings include. And also, we have to put additional dependencies, which is WPK.lib and 
name under the linker under input and then additional library will be the additional library directory will be the wpd pack lib will be under the under the general under the linker and once we set up the three parameters then we're ready to go and this program now uh, is working so this program will retrieve all network devices in the system then we're gonna build go build and then build solutions to compile the whole project then we start the program without debugging this little test run it okay then under your console since we are building a console program so this the console output uh, one, two, three, three devices. So there are three network devices found in this computer. And that's all I have today.